as you guys can tell, I'm grinning already. This is something that I've wanted for a very long time. It's been over a year. Everybody's had these out of stock and I've never been able to get my hands on them until earlier this week. And I found a hobby shop down in Florida that had one and ordered it and I have it now. I'm gonna do an unboxing today of this thing and I'm probably gonna be smiling a lot because I know how much this is gonna change my, my racing program and our organization between my stuff and my dad's stuff. So you guys can tell, it says X-Ray on it. No, there's no cars, there's not multiple car kits in here. I'm still running with Associated. And sticker here is Michael's RC Hobby Shop. And I'm a little worried, just a little bit. I'm worried that number one, it's not the right bag. And number two, this. I was a little disappointed when I seen this, but you know, things happen during shipping. So, but you know, obviously the final, the final conclusion to this thing is once I get it open, inspected and everything like that. I don't like ordering stuff because I don't like paying for something and then not getting it immediately. And out of all the RC stuff that I've ordered, I mean, I've ordered multiple kits, multiple bodies, parts, etc. This gave me anxiety the worst because everybody is still out of stock on them and some people have them on eBay for like 400 and 480 some odd dollars. I wasn't gonna pay that much for one. I'm so excited for this. I'd use a knife, but I have a razor blade knife because of work. I don't want to start, you know, slicing into this box or anything. So I'm just going to take my time with it. <laughs> I can already see the graphics on the top of it. Good night. Oh boy. Oh, this thing's gorgeous. Wow. Very nicely packaged too. This bag was never on display. It was never sitting around so everybody can get their grubby mitts all over it. I know it sounds anal, but when it comes to stuff like this, especially, especially with as professional as this company is, I was a little bit worried that it was going to be sitting out, it was going to be dusty, it was going to be faded. There it is. So I've already got their tools. I started ordering their tools. Oh, a couple of years ago, I discovered this company and really fell in love with how professional their stuff looked. And this bag here is the Hoodie 199-140. This is the eight scale roller. And you guys are probably wondering why, no, I don't run eight scale right now. Why did I get an eight scale bag? There's four drawers in here. Of course, I'm gonna open everything up so you guys can see it too. There's four drawers. I got quite a, you know, 800 plus dollars worth of tires. And that's probably gonna go in this bottom box because it's larger just all the other stuff and with this thing going to be sitting next to me on the ground it's actually got a tool pouch at the top of it i'll go through all that too with you guys i just measured everything and it was going to be about comfortable height they have like the 199 120 which is the 10 scale and 8 scale roller and it's a little bit shorter when it's sitting on the ground and then they have the 199 110 which is the 10 scale compact bag it doesn't have this it's not a roller bag it's just a carry bag and then they have the 199 100 which is the 10 scale touring car bag it's the roller everything like that it's got the tool bag but this is the biggest bag they offer i figured i'm probably going to need the room eventually sometime in my life so i'm going to get this plastic off of here and, and really start looking through it it almost has like a shine to it like through the blue the blue shows more the shininess, it almost looks like these are LEDs. <laughs> wow, this is, 
Man, this, it's actually smaller than what I think, than what I thought it was gonna be. I figured it was gonna be this huge bag, and I guess when I got the tracking on it, once FedEx picked it up, they weighed it, it was like 27 pounds. I don't know if it weighs that much right now. It's, not, it's really not that heavy. Of course, it's empty too, but it's not bad, which is why it's got rollers on the back too. Oh, that's cool. So I guess this is one of the updated bags, which is what I was hoping for. These boxes were actually gray with black handles. As you guys can tell, these are black boxes with gray handles. These boxes are huge. They're nice. They're actually pretty stiff. So one thing you could do with these is you could get some triangle stock and CA them in here if you want to make it a little more rigid. I'm not touching it. So one thing I was excited about the most, and I'll kind of go through our old program, the way we had everything organized, our toolbox, our actual tool toolbox, which is a tackle box, something everybody does. My tire box, my carpet tire box, my extra uh, wings and stuff like that, the charger situation, the shock pumps, the motor spray, everything like that. I want to go through kind of our old program and you know show you how much it's going to change it. So I'll show you, this thing actually comes out. If you guys know what I'm talking about. Super nice, it's thick, it's got a little weight to it. So all these elastic bands here, you know, all my tools will slide in here and then once you have it sitting on your left or right side, whatever you guys prefer, you'll just be able to slide your tools in and out. So, wow, oh, that's cool. So see how you, it's got the bigger bands here? Of course, that's for the handle. Well, in between these, and up here, it actually has the smaller one, so your tips will actually slide in there, so your tools will stay 100% still during transport. It looks like this, these are bigger ones, and Hoodie sells a plier set. It's got split ring plier, flat nose, side cuts, and needle nose. So it looks like all four of those will fit in there. I've got some brushes coming too from Hoodie, and looks like I might be able to fit these on the side. I'm really, really impressed because it's actually got different size elastic bands, so you can put different tools in different spots. So starting off with the toolbox, this thing's gonna be empty now because my dad had actually ordered a bag and it was on bag order. He canceled the order, so he's gonna wait for him to come back in. So we'll start at the top here because most of this is still full. Uh, just random stuff, wire, if we ever needed that. This is where all of the quarter inch power drivers would have went. Sharpies, silver Sharpies. I don't remember why I have these. Oh, I remember what those are for. So your diffs, instead of forgetting what oil or fluid you have in your diffs and or shock fluid or and or in your shocks, with the caps on the shocks being black and the diff cases being black, you actually mark on them with this and that way when you turn them apart, you already know what's in them. Extra body clips, bind plugs, charging plugs, foam, bearings. I don't, I don't know what kind of bearings are in there. Moving over to the other side, all these oils, obviously the associated ones are mine. So this is normally where all of our tools would be. We would have all the Allen drivers and everything like that. Some of this stuff may stay in here. It may not grease, Loctite, always need to have Loctite. All of our pliers and stuff like that would be in here. Four-way wrenches, these are good for getting shock nuts off of the two-wheel drive buggies. Shock tools, these were for getting, this was for getting the shock cap off. This was for the, holding the shock body when you would screw the shock cap on. Got a couple of files in there, pick set, side cuts, lighter, always have a lighter in your guys' toolbox. Heat shrink tubing, an ass load of zip ties use the hell out of zip ties, an ass load of Velcro, plugs, not really sure what all of these are for, oh that's kind of a weird plug, not really sure what that one is, that's way smaller, but uh, just a little tool kit, a syringe, so this here is our charger box, and miscellaneous stuff i will start at the top it looks a little messy right now but like i said my dad had ordered that bag it was on back order so he's just gonna leave everything in here for now so all of our allen drivers everything like that program box brushes 
etc. Normal RC tools. Power driver, temp gun, more chargers, power supplies down there in the bottom. So normally we'd keep all of our batteries up here. Extra tires for my dad, extra motors, pinion cases, ride height gauge, camber gauge. You guys can see them down there at the bottom. Those are tire gluing vans. Diff fluid, shock fluid, batteries, shock pump. This thing is awesome, love that thing. Motor analyzer, extra miscellaneous stuff for my dad. Down there, there's a set of digital calipers, more wrenches. And as for my stuff goes, my radio box, which is probably not gonna fit in the hoodie bag, which is fine, but it's not in here right now because I do run BRC. Parts box, I have a bunch of B6.2 and B74.1 parts in here. Reedy program box, Reedy program box instructions. Q-tips, always good to have with the track. Carpet tires, not much of a selection because I actually gave some to somebody. And this is what I'm excited about the most. This is what I've been carrying around. So we've had this box, the box that's under there, this, we don't take beer to the track, this with all of the batteries and chargers, other miscellaneous stuff, the toolbox, which weighed probably 40 to 50 pounds, three cars, if not four for a parts car to have extra for the night, with his cars and his radio box. I'm gonna go ahead and start going through all of my stuff, start getting the hoodie bag filled up, and I will, uh, once I get everything in here, I'll take you guys through it, show you guys what I got, how I organized it, how my tools look in the top. All right, so I got everything put in here, including my radio box. Got some really cool straps actually right here on the back. The radio's not in here, obviously, but it's actually kind of cool how I could do that. I could just leave it on the bag and then just throw my radio in there and close it back up. Oh, I don't want to pinch those. Those were expensive enough. That should do it. I have all the hoodie limited edition tools so far. Power driver, power tips, hoodie actually makes these too. These are not hoodie ones, but I will be ordering those as well. Little turnbuckle wrench, associated turnbuckle wrench, and the actual shock bottom. That actually, that tool actually comes in handy quite a bit. This will eventually be full. I've actually got some hoodie brushes coming, like the, they're not paint brushes, but they're cleaning brushes. And a couple more things. So we'll come up to the front here in all these boxes. <coughs> so in this first one, I've got all my parts for the B62 and my B74. I'll eventually probably work this out a little bit different in the future, depending on how I like it at the track, how often I use you know certain drawers and stuff like that. It's a spare motor second drawer it's gonna be my springs my v2s and my v1s this bag here unfortunately that parts box I showed you guys was not gonna fit inside of here this actually needs to go somewhere else this is my standard rotor out of my 17.5 I actually have a lot more parts than what I thought so that's just my miscellaneous parts box I shouldn't have to dig into this too much chargers power supply I'm not really a big fan of those sliding around and stuff like that but might figure something else out with those later on all of my tires this is going to be a huge help i even have more room yet that i can put all of my outdoor tires in here because i gotta get four-wheel drive fronts yet for my dirt program and should be good actually on space shouldn't have a problem with that at all now get into eight scale eventually all of these tires if we're going to an eight scale race all these tires will come out eight scale tires will go in so this bag is going to be used for both things it's going to be diverse so other than that that that's everything 
Let's see, it fits everything very, very nicely. Side pocket here. This is a pit board we're going to be using for now. This thing's actually really heavy. But I'm pretty sure an 8 scale pit board will also fit in here. Well, ladies, that's it. That's everything I expected out of this bag. Um, this is going to change my program so much when it comes to organization and instead of me and my dad tripping over each other to get our stuff out this this is huge for me right now and i could be more happy with it michael's rc hobbies thank you so much for having this bag in stock getting it to me so quickly and i checked everything over everything looks perfect there's no dust there's no fading as you guys can tell throughout the graphics and stuff like that this thing is in pristine condition so i'm going to text michael tonight if that's the guy who owns michael's rc hobbies which i'm sure that it is but I'm going to text him tonight and just let him know I really appreciate everything and I'm going to give him a shout out. I'm not really sure if he's a hoodie dealer. <clears throat> he actually has more hoodie stuff in stock than anybody else. As far as the oil bag goes, shock pliers, everything like that. He was the only one, I'm pretty sure in the US that had this thing in stock other than eBay and guys charging $450 for this bag. I gave $369 for this one. now. I could have bought it from somebody else, but everywhere else on the internet, it's over in Europe. And a lot of the companies over in Europe, too, a lot of the hobby shops are out of stock on this. So, Michael, thank you so much for having this thing in stock. And I've had a really good experience with them. Uh, it was the first time I've ever ordered something from them. My dad has ordered stuff, and he's had no complaints with them either. So, I'm going to get a hold of him tonight, let him know I appreciate everything that he's done. And bags in pristine condition. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and we'll see you again. Triple F Ranch.